I was thinking like if I die, like I'm gonna die like trying, you know, like I'm gonna die fighting. In the span of a second, Madeline Gintu went from making a latte oh to making life and death choices with a knife pressed against her throat. And he was just like, no, you're coming with me or I'm gonna kill you. And then he kept telling me, he was like, I will kill you. Madeline says she forced herself to slow her breathing down, be calm. She reasoned with the attacker, told him about her family. In my head, I'm just thinking to myself, be prepared. Like, this could get really ugly. Try and stall so that someone pull, like, if someone pulls up, they can help me. As he forced her outside, she gripped the stand and made her drag her away as she screamed and fought back. And this is seriously the longest four minutes of my life. Right? Just walking down that little dark alley and not really being able to see anything. Madeline says she wrestled him when he threw her to the ground. I know for a fact that I'm a lot stronger than I look. So just when I when he was choking me, like I knew to just like tense up and put my shoulders up and like to just make even if I was getting like a little bit of air. But as they struggled, Madeline knew he dropped his knife. While I'm being choked, I'm waving my arms up and down because I'm looking for the knife. Just then, the headlight of her next customer got the attacker to let her go and run. This morning, Kent police arrested 33-year-old Michael Reynolds, who had just finished up a 12-year prison sentence for robbery and burglary. He did not expect me to fight back. He didn't expect me to be as strong as I am. That's why I would hope this would encourage women to just don't work out just because you want to be skinny or like fit into that bikini. Like, Work out to be strong so that you can fight back.